Anani friends. My name is Melinda Bad, and we're back with our Mdoni vlog series. Thanks for joining us. Now this week we have some big projects underway and we love trees here being in agriculture. We just, we love trees. You never want to take trees away from property, but sometimes it's necessary to make room for the development that you have planned. So we're going to go over and see what our team is doing. Uh, taking out some trees and why they're doing it. The guys are about an hour in now. As you can see, they've made a lot of progress on the trees. They're methodically stripping down all the branches so it'll be easier to take the trunks off. So I noticed the guys switched to the axe. Yeah, so the guys have switched to the axe now because the, the chainsaw has had some problems. So we are running, Musa is running to town to get it fixed. Uh, but in the meantime, the guys are, are getting, are using the axe to cut it down. We are also having a break with the, this uh, drink. It's called a maheo. It's just a, a maize meal, with, uh, cooked maize meal with sugar. So we are having a break. Well, it looks like they're getting close. They've got the rope already. This tree is almost there. The guys have been taking lots of turns. It is so close. So the team has spent about a week cutting down two massive trees in this windbreak. And normally we want to keep as many trees as possible, but we need the space to bring in a gate, an entrance gate. So this break in the trees that the team has created is going to be the entrance, and on the other side of those two trees is going to be the exit. But they'll all feed into the same main gate, which will come into the farm. And that gate is going to be really large. It's going to be 8 meters wide, which is 26 feet. We're doing um, that kind of size in anticipation for a lot of visitors. We can't wait for people to come see what we're doing and come to our market stall and buy all of our organic produce. This will help with our sustainability so that people will be feeding back uh, finances into the farm so we can keep training people and have staff. So we were blessed with some funds to purchase something called a Wendy house. So the team picked up all the pieces. Uh, this room used to be a schoolhouse uh, in Simunye, and now we have it here and we're going to watch the guys uh, build it. This, this is now the, the first part of the flooring. Uh, it's already laid and it's already level, uh, as you can see. And uh, we, we had to cut the floor in half when we were locating the, the house from the previous location. So now we are about to lay the second half of the, of the flooring. Uh, it's, it's looking nice already. It's, it's very, very flat and level. Uh, it's tempting for us to, to have some breakfast sometimes in the morning yeah, in this deck. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice. <laughs> Remember, usually the students uh, and the staff were doing their meetings and their lessons here on the veranda at our staff housing, and that wasn't really adequate with the heat and the cold. Uh, some days it would be both, and now we're about to start rainy season. We're really glad we have now had our first building put up, the Wendy House, which 
uh, I believe is a British term for a, a single room playhouse in Great Britain. I don't know, you can comment below if, if I've got that wrong. And then now it took them about a week to put it back together again, but they did a really thorough job starting with uh, gravel and posts and making sure everything was level. You can see now that uh, it is a little bit higher than it was originally. They used some of the tree stumps that came from cutting the trees near the road to become steps, which was uh, great repurposing. So now we're gonna take a look inside and see what this looks like. You'll see that there's lots of space for uh, the meetings and the trainings for you know the dozen or so people who we still have here on the farm. Uh, these lessons are so important for the students because the way, the permaculture way is very different from uh, how they do it on Swazi homesteads here. The permaculture way teaches our students how to um, use what's around them rather than needing to go out and buy a fancy supply or proprietary piece. They, they change their mindset. They learn the attitude of what do I have around me to make this work? What do I already have uh, as a resource? So learning to recognize that we already have resources even when it doesn't look like you do. So you see at the bottom of this Wendy house, they have put a bunch of gravel and that's to help try to control the termites that are in the area. Uh, now, William was explaining to me actually something really interesting about how termites are necessary for the soil here to be healthy. And from my American perspective, that shocked me and his explanation was really interesting. The termites aerate the soil here and um, the only time they really get out of hand is when you start to see the termite mounds. That's how you know that there's too many termites apparently. So the chickens actually help to control the amount of termites here. They eat them, they scratch the ground looking for them. Um, but in turn, the termites, they aerate the soil so that the soil can better soak up any rainwater that's coming. And something else I didn't know about is that the termites, they drag down the dry grass uh, and sticks and they they bring it down to eat for food or to store um, if there's no other food around. And then that also further uh, integrates more organic matter deeper into the soil. So they're kind of free laborers, which is really amazing. Um, but we do want to control the termites around this house because as you can see, it is wood. And you can tell from the look of it that it has been treated um, to try to be termite resistant, but we're still going to do um, some due diligence and make sure that there's the gravel, which is supposed to also deter the termites. And then we have it raised off the floor, as you can see. So all of this should help uh, mitigate termite damage or keep it minimal. This Wendy house also provides shade for some of the animals. Uh, like the geese, and should a termite get above the gravel, you know those geese are going to snap up that tasty snack. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed seeing how much progress the team has made here at the farm. Um, we would love to know what you would like to see more of. Uh, please feel free to comment below and let us know what you think. Until next time, Salani Gothley.